stopped at the Newberry National Volcanic Monument. I'm not sure exactly what all this entails, but there's a five minute drive up to the top of the Butte. Um, I saw it on the side of the highway and thought that I would uh, take a stop and look at it. I did see some lava flow at the, uh, on the highway, so it should be interesting. an event known as a cinder cone. It rises 500 feet above the surrounding terrain and the crater in front of you drops down 150 feet. So you get a better view of the lava field from up here. It's pretty large. It's amazing how little vegetation has grown on it over the years. This is Lava Butte. Elevation over 5,000 feet. They have an active uh, fire watch station here. So that's the active fire station. There's a guy up there right now. I'm up here at the north entrance. I'm going to go to the north junction, take the east rim drive, and I need to get fuel at Mazama Village. over 7,000 feet of elevation and passing snow on the side of the road. I think it's the highest I've been on my motorcycle. Even crossing the Rockies, I don't think I got over 7,000 feet. I'm up at 7,600 feet. Don't want to go wide on this curve. 7,868. Forty-four feet of snow on average are dumped on this area every year. leaving Oregon. It's about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Don't know where I'm going to stay tonight. I am going to the Redwoods National uh, Park, which is about 45 minutes or an hour from here. So it's goodbye to Oregon and it's going to be hello to California, state number 28. At least California has a sign, welcome to California, state number 28 by motorcycle. Smith River National Recreation Area. Gonna have to keep my eye out for campgrounds in some of the federal lands. That may be the way to go in California.
sign for Redwood National and State Parks. Looks like I'm already starting to pass some of the big redwoods. Coastal Drive Loop, High Bluff Overlook. I got off the Route 101 heading south and I'm taking this scenic road. Oh, that's beautiful. The one thing that I notice is the scent. It's almost a sugary sweet scent. It's very delightful. Fifteen hundred years old. Try a BLM campsite. It's very rustic. Doesn't even have water. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to stop at a grocery store here before I get too far off the beaten path and get some water and dinner. Uh, it's over towards the coast, but it's in a. I think it's a national forest. So I think it's gonna be pretty remote. There's only about 14 campsites uh, at this particular location. The temperatures have gone all over the place today. It was very chilly this morning, then it warmed up. Ended up taking off uh, a lot of layers, and then it got really cold. I put another layer on, and now it's really hot again. It's shown as 85 degrees, feels warmer than that. Wilaki Campground, 